Hey, fellow players, and welcome back to episode 22 of the Director of Football Journeyman on Football Manager 2020, aka FM20, whatever you want to call it. It's Football Manager, and we're back. As you can see, we're in a slightly different position to where we normally are. Normally, we come back on a match preview screen, but because we've had the first leg of the Europa League uh, already, I said we'd come back for. The results that they've had in the games that were last week, I guess. I don't know. Earlier today? Maybe earlier today. Probably actually earlier today. Yeah. Um Atletico Madrid go through just just by one goal. Uh Shakhtar demolish Leon. Uh Sporting knock out Tottenham. Interesting. Has that anything to do with the fact that Portugal no Portugal's not loaded anymore. Interesting. Uh, Valencia go through against Leicester on penalties. Uh, Barcelona beat Roma in the first leg. They play away in this game. Lille and Marseille quite close, 1-0. Zenit beat Sevilla, 1-0. So no away goals for those two games. But our game ended one apiece. Which we were, we were the better team, but we were also lucky to get a draw because they were clinical. When they got their few chances. They didn't have too many chances. But when they got them, they were good. Um, in the games in between, we beat Muskran 5-2. Uh, fairly easy game. As you can see, um, after 7 minutes, we were 3 up. Then they scored in the 16th. We scored in the 24th. And again in the 29th. So we scored all our goals within half an hour. And then pretty much nothing happened in the second half. It was a very boring second half until right at the end 92 minutes or was two minutes added on at the end of the game they scored in the 93rd minute it's just you know fm um unfortunately dura picked up enough wasn't a big injury so it was fine uh, then against leipzig we basically had no player like we had no defense our main right back injured two of our center backs were injured so, like I said, relatively lucky to get the draw. Um, they scored early-ish. We managed to pull one back close to the end. But what's done is done. We've managed to get to the second leg with a chance. And we beat Gink in the game just before this one. 3-1. Uh, Digresse, as you can see, back in the goals. Centre-back who scores not very often this season, but he's been quite good. Sadije and Carnavale, both all scoring. Uh, they scored to make it 2-1. And then Carnavale decided to bop himself a cheeky little goal. Uh, it did take Diallo off in that game. Moved Rodriguez to the advance forward. Carnavale came on as a complete forward and scored. So, obviously, what I've done is not played Carnavale. Or am I? I can't remember. Um, Germany is not loaded. So... We don't have any, like their form is based purely on games they've played in Europe. So not something that we have to, to look at and go, oh, you know, they've done poor in the league or really well in the league. We, we don't know what they're doing. We are playing Carnival, actually. Okay. Uh, so for this game, we have Hector and goal. Mitkov coming back from his injury only yesterday was he declared fit enough to play. Gallardo on the left. Who I think was suspended for the last league games. So we had a, a very mixed up team. Degresse and Enkita as centre backs. Dedora and Sadija in central midfield. Standard. Uh, Lingetti and East Riley, who's picked up his form of late. You wouldn't know by the fact that the last five games have been 6.88, but he has been decent. Uh, Diallo and Carnavale, starting up front, have a combined 42 goals, which. How can you not play those two up front together? I have decided to move the complete forward to support because the attacking complete forward not been doing a whole lot recently. Uh, Coppins is going to sit on the bench. He is slightly injured, but he'll be fine. Um, players that miss out because of injury, or actually, yeah, well, injury and suspension. Everett is suspended slash injured. Lambert, who played in the last game, picked Banach. And he's going to be out for five days with a gashed leg. You know, so. Popovich. 
sat on the bench and did not come off the bench in the last game. He is cursed. Every time we play him, we lose. So the less amount of times he plays, the better. He's played six this season, played once last season. I think we drew or lost every one of the games he was a part of. I don't want to part I don't want him. I Chelsea can have him and Chelsea can lose every game that they play him in because I don't want to deal with him. Again, interesting for Leipzig. In the last game they played four two two two. Like two DMs, two centre midfielders, two strikers. But now they're playing three centre backs. It's interesting. Inter they had Adola Luckman playing up front as a target man, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm going to tell the lads to go out and play up for the press because if I say anything with the fans, they're just going to be like, we don't care. We don't care that they pay our wages. Mm, no, the club player pair of ages. Um, they're playing Hannes Wolf up front today. I'm very confused by this Leipzig team. But Carnavale to Gallardo, who we haven't seen in a couple of games. Nice to see him back. Lingetti Diallo has the ball taken off his foot. Oh, and then it's a, an attack, a counter attack for Leipzig. Inkita not having any of it. Just hacks to the <laughs> hacks their player down. Yeah, um, Carrere is playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder in this game. Degresse gets the goal. <laughs> I thought East Riley was after stealing it off him, but he hasn't. No, 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 no. Degresse with the goal. Fifth of the season. I feel like he scored a lot uh, more last year. That was so close to East Riley getting the ball. And Mangala, was it? Mangala? No. Balakacha. Just with the faintest of touches, puts it into the back of the net. Goes down as a digressive goal. Um, in the last game, um, Carrer and... Oh, what a goal by Upa Meccano. Uh, Carrer and Mangala were playing as their DMs and they were very inefficient. So the fact that they've moved them into midfield, maybe we could do something. But Upa Meccano equalises. So now away goals mean nothing if nobody scores again. I was hoping that that would be a goal and we'd be like, okay, well, we're ahead now. But we're not. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just demand more. Get the lads to do East Riley, not having a great game. Diallo, again, also not having the best game. Lingetti from the throw. Back to Gallardo. Carnavale, high and wide. The game had a little bit of a freak out there. Sadija, again, not having a great game. Some of these players just do not want to play well today. Dora out to Gallardo. Dora. Uh, interestingly, Salzburg were still in the Champions League. Recently got knocked out by Bayern Munich. Came up because we're still getting updates on the Champions League. Lingetti does his man and East Riley heads over. We're missing too many opportunities. We've had... It's been a relatively tight game. It's been It's been interesting. Um, we should let them know we appreciate their efforts. I am far from least. <laughs> the assistant manager. Oh, the lads are doing well, you know. Me. No, no, no. <clears throat> Diallo is playing terribly. Oh, Diallo's the worst player on the pitch for us. Is he the worst player on the... No, Mangala and Carrere. Two defenders playing in central midfield. I can imagine they wouldn't have a great time. Um, I'm surprised we haven't had the whibbering over on in midfield. Dodora. He's, he's got to stick to passing. He cannot. He's terrible at shooting. Lingetti. Degressi doesn't get there. Oh, but the Dora almost hits into the back of the net. Uh, we are quite close as well to our youth intake. Hoping we get some good out of it. Um, don't remember what the head of youth development has said about it, but be interesting. Sadija to East Riley. Carnival. Back of the net. Bosh. Bish bash bosh. Get in. Alright, so we're winning now on away goals. Thank you very much. Bit of a poor clearance by Lemire. East Riley gets himself. Cheeky little assist. His pairing club, Tottenham, aren't going aren't in the next round of Europe. Could we get into the next round 
with one of their players playing for us. Gallardo to East Riley, speak of the devil. That was a shocking, a shocking pass. Oh dear God. Linghetti wins the ball. Runs forward. Diallo gets onto the end of it. And he puts Carnavale in. 3-1 on the night. We are going to make a substitution. Diallo's coming off for Rodriguez. Because even though he managed to get an assist there, he has been trash. Just saying it now. He's been terrible. Uh, Mikov, just coming back from his injury. Like, literally, like I said, came back yesterday from his... Something to do with his leg, I want to say. So we're going to give him a rest for the rest of the game. Uh, Coppins, can, he's a fantastic backup right back. So why not? Gallardo with the big throw. Carnavale going for his hat-trick. East Riley gets it instead. It is 4-1, 5-2 on aggregate. We've gone to Germany and we have just said, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is our game. We are going to win it. East Riley. It would take something spectacular for us to fall apart now. Dodora. Can he get in on the act? He can't. But East Riley hits the crossbar. When Upa Meccano scored that uh, free kick, I thought we were going out. I, was, I didn't say it verbally, but my head said, probably going to end up going out. Not today. Carnavale almost scores his hat trick. That was a beautiful shot. Keeper did get a save to it. Lingetti puts it over. Digresse straight at their German Australian goalkeeper, I think he is. McGinley. Uh, they have moved Carrera back to centre back. Bit too late. Adola Luckman's come on as well. Digresse back to Hector. Cam, as you like. They need to score five. Yeah, they need to score four more goals to go through. They have 10 minutes. Unless they're Barcelona, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. I'm saying it now. We're into the next round of the Europa League. Linguetti, not even going to give Carrera a chance. Robs the ball off him. Rodriguez, shot was terrible. And Linguetti, one touch too many maybe. Brings in the corner. Gets headed away by Jan Foyt. Ex-Tottenham man. We have a lot of ex-Tottenham players on the pitch. So Tottenham were doing well in spirit, just not in not in not in real life. Or the game. Lingetti, Sadije hits a defender, Dodora. Again, Dodora, not known for his scoring ability. I think we can make a substitution and not have to worry too much about the repercussions of it. Watch us now implode and concede six goals in five minutes. It's not gonna happen. They don't even have the time. Rodriguez with the free. Up Meccano. Heads it away. Or no, it was Udakai. Heads away. East Riley. His second of the game. Udakai. Has he got a 50 pence head? Just headed it randomly. It looked like he was trying to head it away from goal. When it said headed it to East Riley. And we are through to the next round of the Europa League. Get in, son. Carnavale, nine po oh, Carnavale and East Riley both getting 9.5s. Passionate. Nobody expected it. Well done, lads. East Riley played a 6.5 in the first half. And then in the second half, a 9.5. The man has had his second good game for us. I think Ballon d'Or. So, with the rest of the results, Barcelona lose on the night, but go through. Lille Keep a draw and go through 1-0. We absolutely dominate our game, as you would have seen. And then it's St. Petersburg knock out Sevilla on away goals. A wad. I feel like I've rec I recognise it. No. Maybe that's from last year's FM. 18 finishing. Oh my good. Um, so yeah, we have a draw. I don't know if that's going to be right now. We got almost a million for winning for playing that game. Team's pleased that we've made it to the quarterfinals. Carnival is back in the form, which is exactly what you want right at the pointy end of the season. Uh, they wanted us to reach the second knockout round, which we have. We're into the quarterfinals. Uh, the draw is later today, tomorrow. 
it's tomorrow. So we'll be back for that. Um, and then after that game, we're going to be back, or after that, after, after we see the draw, we're going to play the Leuven game, which is in three days' time. So we'll be back in just a second for the draw. See you in just a second for that. Right, so now we are back for the quarterfinal and semi-final draws of the Europa League. Some big teams left here. <clears throat> we can play Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Sporting. Pretty much every team that's left looks hard. I think Lille or Zenit might be the easiest draw we can get. And um, yeah, why not? Okay, we're not going to get Valencia. We're not going to get Sporting. Atletico Madrid to play Barcelona. That's nice. At least one big team's going to be gone for the next round. Lille, I wouldn't mind. Lille, Shakhtar or Zenit. I'll take pretty much any of these games that are left. Alright, we're getting Shakhtar. We play away in the first leg, which isn't the worst result we could have gotten. If we get past them, we then play Lille or Zenit. And Atletico Madrid or Barcelona will play Valencia or Sporting. It's going to be interesting. We'll see how, uh, how that goes. Um, I've decided we're not going to bother playing the Leuven game on video because we're guaranteed top. We've won the standard part of the season. Um, all we're going to achieve by playing that game is just spending 10 minutes watching a game that means nothing. Um, I will bring you back to show you who else made it in because Zulte Vargen if they do well in their game against who are Sulte Vargen against Charleroi, they'll keep Genk out of the top six. Um, Genk need to beat fourteenth place Ustende, which they will do. But it's basically that's all that matters is Sulte Vargen or Genk, whichever one of them. Like Anderlecht could finish second, but I don't really. Doesn't make a difference because half the points. So we're uh, going into the Champions Group knowing we're guaranteed a place, and we'll have a decent-ish gap over the team in second. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll bring you back just to show you how the our game goes against Uvelin, Uvelin, not Leuven, um, and we just see. How we get on? The next episode is going to be the, the two legs of Shakhtar, maybe. Or, depending on the game we have in between, or game after, we'll see what we do. Alright, so we'll be back in just a second with the result of the Leuven game. And what the story with the top six is. Or, the games we have, who we're playing, and um, when we're going to be playing said teams. Alright, back in a second for that. So, here we are. <clears throat> the regular season is now finished. We did win 3 1. Not as convincing as it looks when you just look at the 3 1. But like, oh, it was fairly. No, no, we waited till the 81st minute to score our second um, and then scored again in stoppage time. They did have a player sent off just after we scored. It was, it was fine. I did have a little bit of a freak out when they scored because I was like, we're going to lose and we're going to end up. Going into the Champions Group on poor form, but that did not happen. Um, as you can see, Vesterlo won their game. Gink lost, which would be frustrating for them because uh, Zulte Vargan also lost. So that's, you know, Gink had an opportunity, didn't take it. And the Champions Group now looks like this. We're sitting on top, three points ahead of Vesterlo, Anderlecht and Club Bruges. All sitting on 30 points. Charlois, one point behind them. And Zulte Vargen getting 25 points. So it's a total of 8 points covering the top, or the 6. So previously what we've seen in the Champions Group is the team that gets 6th struggle to pick up points for pretty much the rest of the time. And... Yeah, it Centroense didn't really do all that well. Muscron 
really poor last year from what I can remember. So will Zulte Vargan continue that? Or will Charleroi be the ones that get sucked in? To be fair, results go Zulte Vargan's way, they could be up in second. So looks like um, on the final day, Standard Liège playing against Sintroenze was uh, an interesting game to go watch. It ended 5-3, but it definitely ended with a poor season for Standard Liège, only getting ninth. Um, Genk will be disappointed to have finished 7th as well. And Sir Bruges beaten 2-0 on the final day of the season. They went down with a whimper. Quite unfortunate, but, you know, it was just one of those one of those seasons where one team was so very, very poor. And I think we set a new record for points in the regular season as well. I think originally it was 63. We managed to get 66. So we go into this knowing we could conceivably get the league again. Could we win a back-to-back -back league? And we also have the Champions or the Europa League. I was going to say Champions League. Not that, not that lucky. Um... We have the Europa League to play as well. I think the next episode has to be Anderlecht and the second leg against Shakhtar because there are going to be two very, very important games, two very good games because Anderlecht is definitely a team that we need to be weary of and Shakhtar should be a fun game. Um, assuming the first leg isn't a demolition either way, then the Shakhtar game, hopefully we'll do what we did to Leipzig in the, in the second leg um, and just walls past them but in this game we did have a couple of players who played poorly Lingetti had a very poor game came off for Jax Jax ended up scoring and assisting for Rodriguez's goal uh, Diallo played so so poorly missed I think it was three really good opportunities he came off Rodriguez got himself a goal so substitutions I made were all very good Barashi also had an assist for one of the, I think it was Jack's goal. Uh, he came on for East Riley, who again, very poor game. So the three changes I made were fantastic. Uh, that was Barashi's first game in months, probably. It's been a long time. Uh, yeah, he played seven minutes against Zulde Vargen back in January. And before that, he had been injured. So this man is broken. He is suffering a lot with injuries. He did have an awful lot of interest in him. Then he picked up his injuries. And now I don't know if he's going to get signed by anybody. Um, mm. But Popovich, as you know, already on his way out. And as I said, next episode will be Anderlecht, Shakhtar. It's going to be interesting to see, can we win again? Last season we were fifth when we got to the Champions Group. We ended up winning the league. We're actually in the lead. We have to win it again, surely, right? Surely, because we've come into this with the best form. We're the best team in the league. We have to. Just, we're going to. It's fine. We're, it's, we're, it's, it's fine. Um, if you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I think for the fact that we scored eight goals, um, in the episode, well, we scored five goals in the episode, eight goals in total from the time I started recording. We only conceded twice and we beat RB Leipzig. If you don't like RB Leipzig, leave a like because we beat them. Get in there. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, fellas.